Hey, what's up guys? This is 3D Bonfire back with an amazing tutorial. And this time it's again time to create some Houdini-like special magic trick. And I'm so happy that I finally figured out how to transition from one material to another, to this jelly material, and then back to its original state, okay? So previously I just knew how to transition from one to the other, but now I'm so happy that I can make this wave effect with vertex maps and it opens up just so much possibilities to create all kinds of crazy results. So today here on YouTube, I will show you the basics of it, but then there will be another in-depth version with 40 minutes of knowledge where I built the whole setup with the shaders and the lighting and everything. So this one will be exclusive on my Patreon. And by the way, there is a lot of other cool stuff on my Patreon. So I have a lot of courses there. Of course, some of them are also on YouTube but most of it is just on Patreon. So this is cool if you want to create some cool plastic. I have different ropes. I have um, how to build something like this one. Okay, this is also interesting. Nice shader, by the way. And I got the ropes, I got the plastic, all kinds of cool stuff. All right, so if you want to learn more of the good stuff, then you could check out my Patreon. Other than that, I would be more than thankful if you support me here on YouTube, ring the bell, subscribe, leave a comment. That would be awesome for the algorithm so please leave a comment that would be amazing but other than that now let's get into cinema 4d and i will just show you the simple basic setup but as i said the more advanced stuff will be on my patreon so let's fire up cinema 4d and have some fun all right so as i said i will keep this really simple here and just give you the basics of this effect so for example we could start with a capsule and honestly we could get rid of the plane here so press nb to see the lines all right so i just put the this one to the maximum and just give me a bit more screen estate here all right so we have something like this one and you know what i, I just keep it really simple so let's press c to make this object editable and now i go to the poly mode Control a to select all of the polys now i go to select set the vertex weight and i will set this one to zero now everything is black all right so this is beautiful and nice so now all of the red areas indicate a state of zero and we can turn this one with yellow areas into a state of 100. So let's do this one with the power of fields. Let's go into the freeze and let it grow, for example, from a spherical field. All right, so let's make the spherical field just a bit smaller and I will just move it back here. I will go more or less to 20 and say at the frame of 20, I want to touch it, maybe with a little bit of uh, offset from the center line. I want to touch it here. So I will do it like this one and the previous one, I will just move it back here. All right, let's just see how this is looking. And of course you have to have your vertex map selected. All right, so already we have some growth here and I think we don't need so much frames here. Okay, this is looking good. Now we have the first vertex map, which is going up like this one. All right, this is looking good. So I will call this one one. And now I want to duplicate this one and call it two. All right, for the second one, I want to use a second spherical field. And I just call this one two because it's vertex map two. All right, so let's go into the field and I will exchange the spherical field with the spherical field two. All right, for the second spherical field, we want to touch the object already at frame 10, for example. So when I let this one play back, all right, there is a problem that this one wasn't resetted to zero. So in that case, I think you just have to go here and clear it. All right, so now you can see that the second vertex map is already in this state. But when you go to the first one, it's down here because because it was triggered later. Perfect. So now we have these two. I want to create a third vertex map, vertex map three. And in this one, I want to kill everything, put the first one into it and the second one into it. And now I want to subtract the first one from the second one. And there you have your vertex map wave going through your object. All right. And this was pretty much the basics how to achieve this effect. You can see the wave is going through our object. But of course, I put some additional magic into it to make it way more interesting. All right. And if you want to know how to push it to the next level, you could think about supporting me on my Patreon and watch some really cool tutorials. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you learned something. See you next time. Bye everyone.